Hello students, in my previous class I had explained how to frame the question sentences. Today you will come to know that how to frame negative sentence. The English language for teenagers like you is very essential to learn. And for the students of class 7 and 8, these all the basic the knowledge that I have provided you. Of course that we have to learn the tense, the direct and indirect speech, the active passive voice, these all at a large scale that also we have to learn. Even in class 9, class 10, class 11, class 12 as well. But the basic is very much essential. Number one, you must have the vocabularies. Vocabularies, it means that all it comes to formation of the V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, plus word meaning. So being as a sincere students like you, that you should follow those all the path of the English language systematically. So that in higher classes that you may not have any problem to understand. So, no more that the teaching to you that you are intelligent enough to understand those, all the facts. So, today that you will come to know that how to frame negative sentence. So, negative sentence can be written in two ways. So certain examples I would also like to give it to you. Number one A I do not know. I do see the or Rita. And number B, I know neither Sita nor Rita. The first one which I have written in two ways that the negative sentence also can be written. So followed by the word neither and the nor. Now second one. She cannot she cannot read or write. Read or write. And another way, she can neither read nor write. Next example also you can have a look. We did not, we did not meet anybody, meet anybody there. And in another way, We met nobody there. The other example, they had not anything 
they had not anything to eat. Now another way in the form of negative sentence, they had nothing to eat. They had nothing to eat. Now several examples also that can happen here. So I do not know either Sita or Rita. So here that do not will change into neither. I know this is also a kind of a negative change. I know neither Sita nor Rita. Likewise, she cannot read or write. So that will change into neither nor. Because that she is unable to read and she is unable to write also. So for that condition, she can neither read nor write. Now, we did not meet anybody there. So here that anybody changes into nobody. So we met nobody there. Now here, they had not anything to eat. So anything that it changes into nothing. If these kind of the words that if you are using to form a negative sentence that not is not written. The word not is not written. So say here that they had not anything to read here that not had been applied in one form of the negative sentence and second sentence that you have a look that the word, negative word at an OT not has not been used. On behalf of this not we have used nothing. So they had nothing to eat. So likewise in two ways that the negative sentence also can be formed. Now with respect to this I would give you some homework to be done for your better understanding, for your better concept. So I wish that each and every student from class 7 and 8 that you must practice those all the things. Plus the word meaning also that you must have a record. For this you should make a thin copy and into that as a daily routine at least the ten word meanings referring the dictionary English to English this meaning that you can write and daily as like that eating is very much compulsory for us same like that going through at a glance that the word meaning every day that it should be referred so that after a week or so that you can understand that many word meanings also that it will insert in your mind that we, you will never forget. But regularly, every day, you have to jot down the word meanings, the typical hard word meanings and the same that you should go through at a glance that you need not to mug up. So this is my the highly suggestions to you that for understanding in a better way in English these are the things that you should know. Of course that at a larger scale that you have to see about the tense, about the active passive voice, about the direct and indirect speech. These all the things are also very much essential. But beforehand, these are all the basic that you must know. And for this reason only that I am going to give you some homework that how to change from affirmative to negative sentence or even that one negative sentence I have given to you
then in another way that the negative sentence also can be composed. This all for your better understanding that some home practice, the questions that also I am going to give you. Thank you. Now see, have a look over here. Like exercise one, make the following. Offer me to. In negative. Just now. Number two. Everybody know it. So everybody will change it to nobody. Nobody knows it. That's all. Now next. Someone called you. Someone call you. So someone will change it to anyone. So anyone did not call you. Now next, anybody can do that. Anybody can do that. Now next, there is milk in the chair. There is milk in the chair. She told me something about you. Number G. There are many girls There are many girls in our school. Number H. He has some money. in his pocket. So this, from affirmative, you have to change into negative sentence. Now, another exercise that I am also going to give to you. This is actually the negative sentence that you will be given. But in another way that you have to form a negative sentence. As examples that I have shown you below. Means that right now that I have shown you the examples also. That how to change the negative sentence in another way. So there are two ways of for changing the negative sentence. Which I have already explained to you. So with respect to that. I will give you one sentence in negative. Now you have to change in the negative only, but in different way. Oh. 
Now this is for your exercise 2. Write the following negative sentence in another way. Number seven. 
she has not any work she has not any work to do at home number 8 we do not know we do not know anything about her on the right we have not had we have not had any tea now number 10 he did not do anything he did not do anything that was wrong so now the ten questions that i have given you for better practice for better understanding that how to frame the negative sentence in another way now you just talk about the next sentence is exclamatory sentence that is also very much important to understand Finishing the sentence, the punctuation mark that is given in case of exclamatory sentence. Like it is very cold. This is an affirmative sentence. Now you have to change it to exclamatory. So it will be. how cold it is on next one how is it she looks
the noise. Food that my friend were here. I wish my friend were here. So, from assertive sentence, you have to change it to exclamatory sentence. Exclamatory sentence that all of a sudden feeling that it originates in our heart and so on in a full shouting way that we shout. Of course, exclamatory words are oh, ah, ouch, wow, these all are the exclamatory words along with the how and what also. We have seen here that the how. Okay, so this what and how is also given. So it is how old it is. So this why to change from affirmative to exclamatory or from the exclamatory to affirmative that the word how or what will change into that. So how old it is, it means it is very old. This how has changed very well. Here also you, you, you can have a look. But how will she looks? So she looks, how does she need to wear it? How that she looks very ill. Then here the word what I mean is, what will also change into very. So what a noise you make. It means that you make a very great noise. And the last sentence, would that my friend were here. This is a kind of an imagination. Suppose that for a certain occasion that you invited or perhaps that your the best friend, your clear close friend is not present on that occasion. So you are wishing from your heart that, oh, if my friend were here, I would have enjoyed a lot. So, this is an affirmative sentence, and now you have to change it to affirmative. So, I wish, I wish my friend were here. Likewise, that you have to change from affirmative to exclamatory. Or, exclamatory to affirmative. If I give you the question from that exclamatory sentence, you have to change into affirmative So likewise, also that you should change. So for here also, I would like to give you some exercises to be done for your the better understanding. Explanatory into affirmative. So I would like to give you the explanatory sentence. You have to change into affirmative. That is a certain sentence also.
Like number one, how foolish you are. How foolish you are. Now have a look. This is an exclamatory sentence. You have to change into affirmative sentence. So how will you change into very? So you are very foolish. Likewise that you have to change into affirmative. Now next question. How glad the teacher was. How glad the teacher was. Number three. How pleasant. It is today. What a piece of work. What a piece of work. Peace man. The will change that man is what will change into very? So man is very great piece of work. Man is very great piece of work. Now next. What a beautiful night. What a beautiful night. It is. Now next. What a foolish bird you are. What a sight met their eyes. Now, a bit more. The more and more practice that you make, the more and more that confidence that you will be gaining in the term of the English language. As we know very well, why do we learn the grammar? Because in two ways that we learn the grammar. One, 
to make the sentence correctly according to the grammar, this is very essential. And second one, to make sentence beautifully by adding different kinds of the vocabularies, by adding different kinds of the adjectives in a sentence. So that sentence is made in a very beautiful way so that we are learning the grammar. So these are the things which I have already given you for your better practice. You can understand then again that we will do some another the basic things to understand. Thank you.